Welcome today. I'm Pastor Phil. We're at St. Paul's United Church of Christ. And this is a thing we call Pastor's Pondering. And it's nothing really formal, but it's things that come up on the news or things I've been thinking about and need to address for the week. And if you live here in the community of Wassa, you can't help but know if you've been watching the news about the uh, suicide of one of the anchors at Channel 9, Anina Pahoki. Uh, we all knew her quite well here at St. Paul. She interviewed us for various reasons throughout the years. But um, our, our thoughts and our prayers go out to the family and friends. Nevertheless, it does bring about something that I do want to speak about. We all know that life can get very complicated and very overwhelming at times. And I really have no idea what led to the decision that, that she made. But I do know that there are some scripture lessons and a little message that I'd like to address with you today. I, I've talked about this lesson often, and it's from Matthew 25. And I'm going to start with verse 43, and we'll talk about it just a little. You've heard that it was said, love your friends and hate your enemies. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may become the sons of your Father. For he made his Son to shine on the bad and the good people alike, and gives rain to those who do good and those who do evil. I talked about this in the sense that I wish that there was a protective bubble around each and every one of us and that the bad things in life didn't happen. I am fully aware that life can become very overwhelming and indeed in times, sometimes seems quite hopeless. But the truth of the matter is that life is an amazing gift and life is very short. And so I implore you today to treasure every second of it and the truth of the matter is, again, when those bad things happen or when life gets overwhelming, and indeed it does at times, know that there is a God who loves you very much. There's family and friends who are always there. And if things seem like they're getting just too overwhelming for whatever the case may be, know that there's always someone who's able to talk to you and hopefully walk you through even the worst parts of your life journey. I don't care if it's calling 911 or calling a suicide prevention hotline or calling the church or even calling me. If it's just someone that you need to talk to, know that we are here and we do care about you. Um, I, I get it though. I get how tough life can seem at times and how unfair life can seem at times and how overwhelming life can seem at times. There, there is no question about it. But I want to make one thing perfectly clear, and I've said this so many times before. God does not cause the bad things to happen in your life. The bad things simply happen. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm completely convinced that when the bad things happen, no matter what it is, God's going, good grief, what am I going to do to fix this? And I think that every time those bad things happen, God works overtime to, to send just the right people at just the right times into your life. But you, you need to be open to receive those as well. Now, being a UCC pastor, I don't use the word devil very often or evil very often. But there is something that's evil out there that causes those bad things. God doesn't cause cancer. This, this evil thing does. God doesn't cause heartache. It's this evil thing that does. God doesn't cause even earthquakes or floods or all those things. It's the evil thing that does. And I think that that evil thing continually works on each and every one of us. So I'm hoping so hard that you have a strong foundation, that your, your life is built not on the sifting sand of, of the seashore, but on the solid foundations of your life. 
hang in there no matter what's going on. There is no, no magic wand, but there is a network of friends and there is a network of people who are trying so hard and so willing to help you at no matter what it is. Um, Jesus says in another parable, ask and it will be given, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened. I, I know it lots of times. It doesn't seem like that door is opened, at least at first glance. And, and initially, in our childlike prayers or desires, we ask, well, why doesn't this happen when I ask it to, or immediately, or in due time? And, and the truth is, sometimes the answer is wait, and sometimes the answer even needs to be no. And most of the time, the answer is yes, and sometimes the answer is just wait to see what I have in store for you. So, no matter what's going on in your life, good or bad, know that there is a huge group of people, friends, family, strangers alike, even here at the church, if we know you or not, it doesn't matter. Give us a call. We'll gladly talk to you. And hopefully, we can get you back on track for the solid foundation of life. Um, I'm going to close these words with a wonderful little prayer written by Margaret Cooper in the 19th century. It's very short. It goes like this. Now into the keeping of God I put all doings of today, all disappointments, hindrances, forgotten things, negligence, all glad things and beautiful things, love, delight, achievement, all that people have done for me and all that I've done for them, my work on, are in my prayers. And I commit all the people who I love to this shepherding, to this healing, to this restoring, to this calling and to this making. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. Again, I'm fully aware, I'm more than you may know, and some of you do know, that my life journey has certainly had ups and downs and hills and valleys as well. I think most of you know that one of my life's journeys right now is in one of those valleys, as I'm caring for my wife who is in hospice care for almost um, coming on two years already. I understand completely how difficult life can be. But I also know that it is through the foundations of my faith that I'll be okay, that at the end, no matter what, she'll be okay, and um, that that strength to carry on needs to live right here in my heart. So again, it matters little if you know who we are or not, um, if you're having troubles in your life or if things just seem so incredibly overwhelming. Uh, call 911, call Suicide Prevention Hotline, call the church, call a friend, call somebody, and just simply have the conversation. Be with me for a moment of prayer. Wondrous God, we know that life is filled with ups and downs, with hills and valleys, with disappointments that sometimes just break our hearts, and yet sometimes with such joy, it's, it brings tears to our eyes. And those are tears of joy. And so we thank you for that. That during that difficult time, we simply ask that you carry us today. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, my thoughts and my prayers go out to the family and the friends and to all the folks who have interviewed us at Channel 9 throughout the years. Blessings to you all. Peace and see you later.